Okay, in this example, um, we're given the graph um, of a piecewise function, uh, apparently named f, and um, we're asked to uh, complete uh, the formula uh, for this uh, piecewise function by completing uh, the domain um, that's indicated uh, in the function, uh, uh, that's indicated in the formula uh, for the function. Um, so the reason that the uh, a function uh, is called a piecewise function is that, um, uh, or the, that this function is called a piecewise function, is notice that um, the graph of the function consists of two distinct uh, pieces. Uh, both of them are uh, lines. Both of the pieces are lines. Uh, so uh, this is called a piecewise linear function. Uh, but in general, uh, if you have a piecewise function, um, the uh, graph of the function will consist of uh, the pieces of several different uh, types of curves, and they don't always have to be uh, straight lines. Now, uh, likewise, uh, the formula for a piecewise function is also going to consist of several different pieces, uh, a different formula uh, for each of the different uh, curves uh, that uh, constitute uh, the graph of the piecewise function. So in this example, uh, because we have um, uh, two lines, uh, two distinct lines here that are forming the graph for this piecewise function, we're going to have two uh, different linear formulas uh, that taken together uh, uh, constitute the formula uh, for this uh, piecewise function. So this uh, first formula, 1 third x plus 4, uh, that's going to correspond uh, to the left-hand piece of this um, linear function. Uh, I'm sorry, this piecewise function graph. And um, uh, this uh, second uh, uh, linear function formula is going to correspond uh, to the second uh, uh, piece of this uh, piecewise function uh, graph. Now, uh, the problem uh, with uh, using uh, piecewise functions is uh, just that um, if they're expressed as formulas, is just uh, trying to realize uh, which piece of the formula uh, you'll use uh, to evaluate um, the function uh, for a particular input. And so always incorporated in piecewise functions are uh, sort of instructions uh, which indicate um, uh, if uh, uh, an input is a part of a particular piece of the domain uh, of the piecewise function, uh, then uh, which of these two formulas you're going to use to evaluate uh, the matching output. All right, so um, let's look at uh, uh, this first piece of this uh, piecewise function, uh, which corresponds uh, to this uh, line here on the left-hand side of the graph. So notice that that line uh, extends uh, apparently from negative infinity, uh, since it's not terminated on the left-hand side. Uh, with an open and closed dot up to uh, about positive 3 or actually uh, exactly positive 3 uh, on the uh, x-axis. So that tells us that if we want to evaluate this piecewise function uh, for an input uh, anywhere between minus infinity and positive 3, uh, then we would use uh, this piece of the piecewise function in order to evaluate the matching output. Or in other words, we would use this formula uh, to evaluate the matching output. So uh, we want to use this formula to evaluate um, an input uh, to find a matching output if uh, the input is uh, in this uh, portion uh, of the graph, that is uh, along the x-axis here from minus infinity up to uh, positive 3. So we can express that uh, as an inequality by saying um, we're going to use uh, this formula to evaluate uh, the matching output for this piecewise function if x is uh, less than or equal to 3, because that's the domain indicated uh, for this line, um, the left-hand piece of this uh, linear function graph. On the other hand, uh, if we want to evaluate this linear function for an input um, greater than 3, then we would use uh, this portion of the graph uh, to evaluate uh, that uh, the matching output. Uh, that uh, uh, This formula corresponds to this portion of the graph. So in other words, we would use this formula if we want to evaluate uh, the piecewise function uh, for an input that's greater than uh, positive 3.
I uh, notice we have an open circle here, which means that um, if we want to evaluate the piecewise function for three itself, we would use uh, 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 this portion of the graph, in other words, this formula. But if we want to evaluate uh, the function for an input that's greater than three, uh, then we would use this portion of the graph or uh, this formula, because this formula corresponds to this portion of the graph. So um, um, if we have an input that's greater than three, uh, x greater than three, then we would use this formula to evaluate uh, the matching output. Uh, so there's our complete formula for uh, this uh, piecewise function. Again, it consists of two pieces. One piece we're going to use for an input that's less than or equal to three. The second formula, the second piece we're going to use for inputs that are greater than uh, three.